this is Christian. Welcome to another video series with me. In this series, we're going to create a simple PHP Stocks application. We're just going to basically render some data to the browser. We'll be using the PDO extension to read a text file and then also to uh, parse the text file, reading each line of each record, and then uh, insert this data to the MySQL database system. And then we'll display that data to the view. So here is a a flow chart what that may look like so we have uh, mainly a class called DB on the right side that will make the DB connection using PDO to the database system we have a class called stock function that is just basically some you know uh, utility functions to like display headers footers and to perform the uh, uh, file read and, and so on and then we're going to have a single file called index.php and that file will have um, four buttons or four links that will uh, perform uh, a few options. So the home page, home button just going to link to the home page or reload the index basically. Reset will we'll do a, we'll use the truncate uh, to truncate the entire database table and so that we will reset the ID from one again. Right? That's different from the delete. And then we use the get stocks that is to read a text file and then we're going to parse each line of each record and then answer that to the database and then for the view stocks it is basically to make a query from the database system and display that to the browser okay so let's go and uh, see how this can be done so first let's look at uh, the text file here i created my unit six here the stocks.txt as you can see it's just um uh, it's a flat file also known as a text file and i have about uh, 50 lines of 50 uh, records okay so each line is indeed a record and it's uh, each um, field here is separated by a semicolon okay this is also known as a um, csv file but i'm not using comma separated because um, you know some of these names are they have commas in them like for example Innova International comma Inc so if you were to use comma that would be a little bit challenging to to you know parse so instead of using a comma I'll use a semicolon instead or you can also use like the pipe symbol like this or sometimes the tab key to do that too but in this case we we'll use the uh, semicolon to se to um, separate each field and uh, be also really important that the last line cannot be empty like this if you do that you might have an error in your uh, code. You just be careful. So make sure there's no additional lines, blank lines. Okay. So if you look at this, we have um, about five fields. The first field is the IDs. And then this is the name of the company. And then we have the stock symbol. And the energy here, I'll we'll use this as for the sector, what kind of sector they're in. And then this is the uh, stock price. Okay. And we'll, we'll so we're going to create five records. I mean, I have five fields in the database. So let's go to the database and create that first. So over here in MySQL, I'm going to go create a new uh, database. I'll use the, um, call it stocks. Okay, we'll have a table with this time, we'll call it uh, just stock, five fields. All right, so the first is the ID field and this will be the auto increment. So just check that and make that primary key. The second will be the company field. This will be a var char. I just put a hundred here. And this is the symbol, uh, var char. We'll just put 10, probably less than that, but 10 should be uh, enough. And then this is the sector. So again, var char, we'll put a hundred here as well. And then the last one is the price. So for the price, we want this to be a decimal number, okay? So I use a decimal, and a decimal I put uh, 10 comma two. Okay, the comma two here just tells you it's gonna have decimal values. If you don't do that, I think you're gonna have just whole number. So you're gonna put that comma for the number of decimal places. If you want more than that, you will put more. If you want 10 decimal places, then you put 10 comma 10, okay? But two decimal places should be enough for uh, this one here. All right, so let's go and save, and then we are good to go. Now again, remember that our ID is auto increment, okay? So that means when we insert data uh, back in here in the code, that means we're gonna ignore 
the first the first record here when do the answer okay all right so let's go and uh, start creating our files i'm going to go and create a directory here first we'll call this the includes okay so includes we have include files another one here for the assets again i like to use assets here to store some other stuff like css and other stuff so my css i'll create one here as well Oop, not directory uh, just a file css file and let's call it stocks.css okay so we'll put the css in here and then in the in in the main folder we'll create the index file for now okay and then um we'll also create it includes one for a db okay so we do that first okay well um let's go and um create our db well let's create the view first okay i want to start with the view and because i want to again you always want to display what you want to look like first before you do any other stuff okay so before we do all the stuff here let's just start with the simple one um a lot of typing so i'm going to do a very a quick one and uh test i'm going to grab these that's all that's what i'm going to do i'm doing some lazy thing here but uh, let's close everything and open the index file. Put that here. Okay, so this would be the um, stocks. All right, so we're gonna have a um, a a div tag. This would be the class of a main container. It would be similar to other apps we've done before. And so here, gonna have the header. And I have the footer. Um, well, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put a header inside, inside a main. Okay, so this will be inside a main, and I'll use a, a, again a function to do that. But instead of, instead here I have a footer again, same thing. Okay, so this part is just put a placeholder for now, but eventually we're gonna replace this with a function, and uh, maybe we'll we'll do that. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Maybe we should do that now. So let's go over here and create another file, and this is the function. So I put here functions. And just to hold our functions uh, stuff. But uh, what do we have in header? We can do that first, and we can, you know, populate it over. I have a ul, and then have li <coughs> uh, for each right e each link. So what does it look like? Well, uh, we can have like um, I'm gonna call this sync file. This could be a, a href, and then inside here. I'm going to do the uh, server that PHP self. You see that I do this quite, this quite often just to make sure that, you know, we're calling the same file every time. And this will be the home page. So let's see here. This is the home link. So it has nothing attached to it. I'm going to duplicate this, Control D, a few times. This will be, I'll use this as the uh, reset to reset my table. And then this is for um, get the stocks. And then this is just to view the stocks. Okay, so when I load, click on the reset, I'm gonna load a sync file, but I'm gonna attach here a, a variable, just T for task, I guess. And we'll just call this reset. If you remember this from the vehicle assignment, it will be kind of similar. Okay, and then this will be T equals to, um, the, maybe just call it stocks right and then this one t is um i guess we we'll just call it view so those are the three options okay well, four actually but mainly those are those are it and then a footer will be something quite similar or simple copy symbol if you want to do that and i just put my name here and say i own this okay <laughs> whatever you want to put it um, I think that, yeah, that would be, that should be my footer. Okay, so let's go to the top here and add our um, CSS. So href is inside the SS folder, a CSS, oops, and then our stock CSS. Okay. 
that's our CSS and that's pretty much all we need for this one here uh, put here company stock stocks all right so that is the index page and then let's open the CSS file so we can go ahead and add some those common uh, rules body you can copy from the other um, program if you want but again I just like to do it from scratch just to make sure I remember how to do this stuff okay so margin zero padding we'll put zero as well and the font family I always like to use the eight like the um, Arial um, where is that there's a, a default um, sensor uh, sensor yeah this one here I, I, I always like to use that one Okay, that's for the body, and then we're gonna have a um, we have the header, right? So the header header goes here, and then we have the uh, footer. We can do this together, and then we have what else? The um, you know the dot main container. We have that, and then there's gonna be a main tag, right? And uh, yeah, those are your our main ones. We'll add more things later on. So the header will be, this time we're gonna put it on the top. We'll make it also fixed so that when we scroll the stop, the top will also be display visible and same thing with the footer. So I'm gonna choose a um, a different color this time. I'll use uh, maybe like a green, green color for stocks, the kind of green, right? So I'll use either dark green or uh, forest screen looks good, I guess. Use that one. I also want to add a a box shadow, make it have kind of like a 3D a look to it. Right, the first is going to be the pos the um, position. This is for up and down. I think no, left and right. Okay. This is the X coordinate system. I make it center. I mean, right in the center. And then the next position would be the uh, I think the up and down or the depth and then the next one will be the spread I think I use 15 here and then the color will be just black okay it's like a black shadow basically and the width for this will be uh, make sure you put a hundred percent because you want to stretch all the way across uh, top would be zero okay you want to stop from the top at zero um, and then the color for the text would be white because it's a green and white background. Well, let's see. Let's see what it looks like first. I don't know. Let's run it and see. <clears throat> okay, so yeah. Let's, oh, this oh, a nice shadow here. And the photo will be kind of similar, okay? And then now we just have to clean this up and then make it look nice. Okay, let's go back. And then that's the header. I think the footer will be kind of similar. I'm going to copy and put it here. Uh, it'll, it'll be fixed. This time it'll be a bottom instead of a top. The color will be white. The yeah, same thing here. Uh, 15 will, yeah, we'll keep the same. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Let's save that. Let's go take a look. Refresh. Oh, look at that. Oh, kind of small down there, but. Maybe I'll put some uh, padding or something, but it looks good, right? So you see the shadow is 3D, and if you scroll it, we have more content. They should be, they should stay fixed, okay? So let's add some more stuff here. It's kind of a small, so let's add some uh, margin. I want to make sure it's center, so margin again zero for top and bottom, and then auto for left and right. Center that. I think we need some padding. We'll put 10 px. Okay, so that's the footer, footer. I think that should be good. Now the main container, um, this is the main div. So we'll have a margin, uh, just margin. Let's see, okay, this is, uh, remember that when, when we fixed the footer and the header, okay, they will stay fixed so that anything that you display on the main content will be hidden underneath. So if you don't set some margins, you're not gonna see the content. Okay, so I, I put here, for example, I put 10 for you can see what that is. So you put 10 auto and then the top and bottom also 10 and then 
you auto for left and right make the, make everything center and then the width will also be a hundred percent okay so say that if I have something like that if I go to the main index file and uh, like in the main here right so inside here I put some h1 content say we have um, you know company stock for example if I save that and go to my view okay you see that it's not shown here right it's not visible because it's underneath here and uh, this is again just CSS stuff you see that it's still there it's just you can't see it because it's underneath right so to make this work the main div tag here you have to put some oh I mistyped the width here you have to type the um, you have to take the margin the top if you change the margin you'll see it will come out it will be visible you see there it is right so it has to be more than a certain value in order to be visible so we can make it so that it's like a hundred um, you know a hundred maybe 150 I guess just to make sure it's safe because when we add more stuff it might it might do some more stuff so like 150 and then maybe like a 20 on the bottom or something like that just to make sure it, it's visible all the time okay and um, as you can see, if I if I if I scroll, it's gonna go underneath that that um, navigation uh, header and footer. So that that's quite nice. So we'll keep it at 150 and 20 for this one. All right. Let's go back and we'll change it to 150, and then we'll put oops, not that one. The top margin, and then we'll put 20 in the bottom. Okay. We can always change it later on. Okay. So the main uh, container is this main tag here the main content contains for that one we're going to have a um, um, have a margin top and bottom we'll put 10 px uh, well for the top and then auto for the left the right the bottom again the bottom it has to do with the footer again right so the footer remember when you designed this the main and the footer they touched each other right here so you need to put some padding down here as well because the footer uh, consumes some space so the main has to have some a margin otherwise it, won't, it will not be visible same thing as the above so that means I have to put a margin in the bottom quite large maybe like a 75 or 80 at least or it might, might, might be more and then auto for the left as well and then we'll again padding just put um, 10 I guess commonly 10 okay so let's see that is my CSS for now and let's go back and see okay so if I refresh now okay looks not too bad all right um, I have some issue on the left side here but all right so let's fix the the navigation at the top I'm gonna turn this into a buttons so as you can see when I click on it it, it shows the result and I can check the T here if it's reset then I'm gonna wipe out my database if it's a stocks, then I'm gonna, you know, uh, read the stocks from the text file view. Just display the stocks, and if it's a home, then maybe we'll just put some message saying, you know, uh, pick an action or something. Okay, so let's go back, and um, now let's go to the index file. All right, so uh, we already saw how this works, so I'm not gonna put thing here. Um, we we'll just put um, so the main. This will move to a function. And so let's go in here and create a function. Uh, I'll use the class as well. So this will be the stock function. Inside here, we have a function called um, show header. And then we'll, we'll put, oops, put that right in here. Okay, and we'll just copy this header, this whole thing, right into this part. And we have another one here for the footer. Show footer. And then same thing. Okay, so the footer will be this whole part. And we'll put it right into the function. And if you just go to code and reformat, it'll clean this up for you. So now we're going to uh, show the information here. But we're going to do that using a config file. So I'm going to go to the unit 6 and create a new file. I'll call this config and then I'm going to import that in here so it includes once the includes uh, functions okay eventually we're going to include a database here too so we can do that all right now before you forget include and it includes and then DB as well 
and then we're going to do a um, sfn for uh, stock function is equal to new stock function. Oops. Okay. Good. And then the db as well, but we'll add that later. So now we can call the main function here. Oops. And this is the sfn get oops, show he header. So we show the header there. And then we'll copy this and put one for the footer down here and below the main. This is show footer. There we go. That's our functions. And then here we'll do some operations. Okay, so the logic will be um, either show um, error messages or we show um, the view. Right, you have three things here, right? So here we have one thing like uh, will be uh, show error messages. For now, we do a show table or a show um, the landing page. Okay, I just put it here so you can kind of see what the logic might be like. Uh, so <clears throat> the error messages, we're going to check for error messages. And then down here, the landing page will be just, we'll just show something like, um, uh, depending on what task it is, right? Remember in the uh, function, if it's nothing, there's no task, then we show that here. If it's a reset, then we go to a different route. Okay, so so here is going to be um, something like, you know, h1, and then we'll put here for now, um, you know, pick um, and action above. Something like that. So we know we show to the user. Okay, so now if you go to the view, you see something like that. If you refresh it, oops, um, SFN line 12. Error, SFN, oh, I didn't include up here. So always forget that. Okay, so include the config file. All right, let's see. Fresh. So there it is. Okay, so pick an action if there's no uh, information here. If you click and reset, then this will be replaced with something else, right? Depend on these actions here. If you go home, you see this one here. Okay, so let's style the buttons and then we'll be done with this video. Let's go back to the CSS. Now let's do the navigation here. Oops. Okay, so what do we need? Well, we need the um, nav ul. This will be the uh, style list. Will be a none. We don't want any um, any list for the style. Just move, remove, remove all the bullets basically, and then we'll just force the padding to be padding also to be zero. If you don't put padding zero, you're gonna have uh, some white spaces on the left and right, I believe. So if you go back, let's say if you refresh, uh, did we not save it? Let's see. Um, I have it. Yeah, list all type. Is it called nav? Let me see. Oh, I didn't put nav here. That's why. Nav. Okay, it's going to wrap inside the nav tag. There we go. And then code format. Good. So now, let's go and view this again. Okay, see the dots are gone. But you can see there's a white space on the left side. Right? You want to be kind of like the right on the bottom here. So you've moved the padding. The padding has to be set to zero. So here we say padding before set to be zero. Okay, now we go to, to, to each LI. And then each LI want the uh, display to be um, in line, in line a block. Okay, again, for um, uh, with purposes, if you want to display with. Okay, so let's go with the background uh, color. I want this to be just black, so black you know, over green. I think it looks good. The padding was put 3px and uh, top and bottom, so left and right, maybe 7 or 10, left and right. And I want the uh, round, round border radius. 
So let's give it a um, a 4px. Pretty pretty good. I think we want the. We can also put the uh, border as well. 1px. Um, you know, it may not be ideal, but it's black black, so maybe not need it. But anyways. Okay, and then we do the hover. Okay, you L L I hover. We hover just basically change the background color to a different color. Um, we'll just choose white. That's it for that one. And then the navigations, right? The A the A links and stuff. So nav U L um I'll just call it A. I think there's only one navigation. And we want the text decoration to be none. We don't want we don't we don't want the um underline so just put none here the color will be always be white the force set to be white if you don't once you sit once you navigate it and it will change colors you want it to be white then the hover we hover that we want the color to be um, it's gonna be a black on white so the color will be black okay because when you hover the ally it changes to white for the background color so you want the font to be white to be, have the nice contrast. All right, I think that's uh, all we need for this one. So here we go. I still have some uh, padding on the right here to do, but okay, so it looks good. And let's put some title on the top here. Um, I didn't put that in the header. So let's go back in here in the function uh, right above here, right above the nav. I put h1, say company stocks. Right, I think that's what I need. Um, anything else I need to do here? I wonder why there's a white space on the left side. I don't like that one. You know, I mean, it's always always bothers me. So uh, zero zero um, margin zero padding zero looks good. The main container and if the zero auto width is let's change that. It's a typo. Yeah, that could be it. 100%. The main clear both. Clear, no uh, padding 0, 10. Yeah, well, let's save in one more time. Yeah, well, I'll have to figure out why it's not. It's a padding there. But OK, so far so good. There we go. We have this all and then set up. And then the next thing is, as you can see, when I scroll, right? You can see it, it the text would beneath the navigation, right? That's what I want. I want, I want this to remain intact and visible all the time. So that's what exactly what I want. Oh, oops. Okay, so that's it for this one. And then in the next video, we're going to create the database.